How's it guys? Back from the run. And I'm fresh, ready for War Thunder. Because we feel fresh, the endorphins are high, and we are ready to go. Updates has been finished. Let me just quickly show it to you guys. The updates are complete. We are going to start the first tutorial on War Thunder. Let's get it on. Let's get it going. Sweet. So here we are on War Thunder right now. We need to choose a country for the first battle. We've got USA, we've got Great Britain, we've got Italy, we've got Germany, we've got the USSR Union, we've got China, we've got Sweden, and then these two are locked. I'm not sure what, why we cannot choose them, but we cannot. So I've had a little bit of a debate between USA or Great Britain. I'm going with Great Britain, let's go. Great Britain it is. Loading up our first few tutorials. Okay, so daily rewards, small trophies, let's see what we get here. Day one, today. Day two tomorrow. Day three, so there's a few days here to get some rewards. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And we've got the abyss staring through the window over here saying hi. <laughs> uh, don't forget to change the settings and turn down the music. Yes, yeah. Uh, Alright, let's see daily rewards. What is this exactly? Okay, booster plus ten percent in all on all allies. Random booster from 10% to 30% and random booster from 10% to 30% so there's random boosters you get Upon activation this gives you 15% uh, for all battle actions and mission reward And that's 15, okay cool What does it boost though? I'm not sure yet This is, this is got a light bulb and it's in this, looks like the top of a, a line well, let's get into it. Raining Fire. Okay, updating Raining Fire. Introducing War Thunder Raining Fire. So that's a brand new update. Brand new major update that introduces almost 30 new machines. 30 new machines. Including Jaguar Jet Fighters, the long awaited P 47 Thunderbolt Razorback, two new versions of the T 72B MBT, and many more new aircraft, ground vehicles, and vessels. Additionally, we are pleased to bring you new maps, new missions, as well as many gameplay improvements, as long list of game fixes, and a long list of game fixes, so there's many fixes as well. So probably for the people who has been playing War Thunder to know about what issues and what bugs, I have no clue yet. No shit wax, but because, we were, because we're getting into it the first time, but it's fun. Ground forces, new 7 vehicles, Germany 10 2C, USSR, we've got the T-72B 1989, the T-72B 3 in Japan, we've got the Chai Ha Long Gun. Chai Ha Long Gun. Chai, chai Ha Long Gun. In France, we've got the Chai So Mua, SM Black, was it the Char So Mua? And in Sweden, we've got the STRV 104. Then, when it comes to the aircraft, we have P-47D-22, the YP-38PAC pack. Aircraft will be available as part of the Pacific Campaign USA pack in the store. The XP-38G will no longer be available for purchase and will remain only for its current owners. And then the P-51C-10 and the new Tuskegee pilot. Then the USSR. We've got the SU-6 single seat premium and the SU-7 BKL. In Britain, we've got the Jaguar GR-1 and the Thunderbolt MK-1 Premium. Germany, we've got the IL-28. Japan, the B-6N2 Cockpit. In China, the QI-5 Early. In Italy, we've got the BF-110G-4 Premium. France, the Jaguar A and the P-40F-5 Lafayette Premium. And in Sweden, the B-70BS. Then with the Navy fleet, we've got eight new vessels. Uh, the USA, USS is North Hampton, the CA-26, the USSR, we've got the SKR PR-50 Yenot, Britain, the HMS Peacock, Japan, Chidori, or is it Chidori, the AK Bono Premium, and in Italy, we've got the Mass 561 Zara, and the Commandanti Madajo Madigli Dioro. So, Commandantai. Command Commandanti. Commandantai. <laughs> Medechli Dioro. I have no idea how you say that. New locations and missions. The naval missions for the locations. 
is uh, Aleutian Islands. New aircraft location, Winter Mozdok, has been added. New historical aircraft missions, Mozdok Winter 1943, Moscow 42nd Kilometer, Moscow Nero, Farminsk, and the Moscow Serpukov. Location mission updates. Some fixes have been made to the Moscow aircraft location. Missing rivers on the southern part of the map um, have been added. So, missing rivers for those who knew about some missing rivers, that's been fixed now. The map of the aircraft location for Moscow has been redesigned for better readability and uh, so much more changes. So, uh, that's, that's what they've been showing here. Flight model changes for the FW-190 and much more. But let's get into the game, guys. Enough about the updates and the new aircraft. Let's actually get... So let's start playing. Let's actually get into it so we can start the tutorials and see how this goes. So, tutorial. Would you like to complete the tutorial? Definitely. Tank control basics. Let's go. Here we are right now. First tank. This kind of looks cool, uh, like the ground and everything like that. I actually wasn't sure how the graphics was going to be at first because of the, uh, the, the few settings that you get in War Thunder which they suggest you all the way to max and then there's actually one setting called Movie which is actually just for recording replays and they said it's only for very powerful PC cells. Not really sure what that means but I just went with it to see and it, uh, it looks quite good, looks good. Um, it's quite smooth, so I think we're, I think we're in a good space here. Yeah? Welcome to one of War Thunder's training areas. Here you'll learn how to control your vehicle. Space to continue. Okay, let's step on moving the tank. WSAD. Okay, so the basic WSAD movements. There we go. I'm guessing we need to move to the arrow. Good lighting. Oh, the tank sounds great. Awesome. Okay, so some basic movements, just need to get to some some of the pointers, like that. Locations. It's not so they did the tanks and everything like that. Um, now that's actually quite cool. I saw in the videos as well, but everything looks quite good. Okay, so we need to move to the next location. There is a few tanks here. That looks quite cool. Like how they did that with the tutorial. Mission objective complete. Right that bumped the tank there. <laughs> which shows your tank as an arrow. It also shows the position of your enemies and allies as icons. Yeah, that was pretty cool. So the new map's located here and it can be used to track the position of your tank, uh, the surrounding environment, and the location of allies. and Oats. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, is very helpful. <laughs> Space to continue. This time, a training target is the red icon on the map. Your allies' icons are blue. Your opponent this time, a training target is the red icon on the map. Your allies' icons are blue. So, ally icons blue, red icons enemy tanks. Just as usual. Just how I like it. see several markers on the screen, the cursor which the turret of your tank follows. The marker indicating the direction of the tank cannon, and the cross that shows where the tank shall we hit. Where the tank shall we hit. Okay, so where the tank shall will hit. Very important actually. One of the good basics in the tutorial. So, the mouse cursor you can turn, but it, it's not actually your turret. Your turret takes a longer time for where you actually 
um, pointing your directions to to see where the people are and yeah, it's just not the same with your, your turret though so turret takes a little bit more time um, to turn around its axis which makes sense because the turret is big if you want to hit the enemy tank wait for the turret to turn towards the opponent align the crosshair with the target it will change color when it is over the opponent and fire all right okay so crosshair align with the target that's the good cursor over the indicated wait until the tank turret finishes rotating and the weapon we sight to be aligned with the cursor switch to gunner view you can use zoom to get a better view the aim oh, that's nice I like the zooming utility, so there's, there's a zoom, there's, you can zoom in with uh, the gunner utility, you've got a lot of aim, so you can easily see your opponents who are shooting them, it's not just aiming down side and shooting, or from the outside, you, you get a nice perspective of what you see and what you're aiming at. The aim assist indicates in the center of the screen shows where the shell will strike when you fire the shots, okay, let's do that. Okay, so red indicator is not to pierce the armor, so it's not possible to pierce the armor at all. Yellow, if it's like a medium, it's going to take some time. And then green, if it's definitely easy to uh, pierce through the armor of this tank, so we can definitely pierce the armor of this tank. Depending Damn, what are we waiting for? It's good. The aim assist indicator changes to various colors. Depending on the thickness of the armor. When the cross is green, means that the shell will penetrate the armor. Yellow means that there's a chance to penetrate the armor, so there's chances, and the red means it's impossible to penetrate the armor at this location. One of the best ways to destroy a tank is to put its crew out of action. Move the reticule over the central area of the tank. Now, fire at the fighting compartment on the tank. Okay, so you you want to be firing at the middle part or the fighting compartment of the tank because that's where you'll be putting out the crew. And putting the crew out of action means that you will be putting the tank out of action, making it more difficult for your enemy. Okay, makes sense. Let's take the first shot. When a shell penetrates armor, the x-ray window appears in the top right corner. This shows which parts of the tank and which crew members took damage. You can see which parts of the enemy tank have been struck by your shell. The oh. enemy tank is considered destroyed if it has no crew members remaining inside. Hmm. So no crew members remaining inside it means that the enemy tank is destroyed. So According to the shot I've taken, it means two, two guys has been um, injured. So we'll have to take a shot. Great. If there was any crew in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Now, switch to third person view. Lift shift, that goes great. If there was any tree in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Switch to third person vehicle. Back to third person. Another effective way of destroying, or at least immobilizing, most armored vehicles have their engines at the rear. Continue by moving the reticule onto the rear of the indicated tank. Now, switch to gunner view and fire at the tank. <coughs> okay, so now we're getting to bigger armored vehicles, so if you want to destroy them, most of the engines are sitting at the back, so getting an easy target on them would be hitting them at the back. That's that's what as as what I'm hearing from the tutorial. So let's have a look. Left shift, right click zoom. Uh, that's the back of the uh, the PZ. Was it the triple one? PZ triple one. Ammo 
fuel rack or fuel tanks inside the tank are damaged, this may cause an explosion or start a fire. Love it. If your engine is damaged, it could immediately maybe cause an explosion or a fire. That is helpful. Damn it, these tutorials are helpful. These basics are helpful. This is needed. We need this if we're going to play Wolfen. <laughs> okay, let's switch. Let's switch back to third person. Now you have to complete a real combat assignment. Capture and hold a strategic point. You can see a marker above the capture point. If the marker is white, this means that the point is currently neutral. Alright. So what marker is neutral? Totally capture point. into the capture zone, the border of the capture zone is delineated by a white line circle on the ground. Oh, there it is, there it is, there we go. This is the capture zone. So like in most games, if you want to capture the points, you need to cap kill the enemies inside of the capturing point before you can actually capture it. Capture zone marker has turned blue, it means the zone now belongs to your team. The enemy team had captured the zone marker with the turn blue red. Quite simple. Team captures more strategic points than the other team. The enemy team begins to lose points. Fairly basic. Says, we are true tankers. Hmm. Mission accomplished. Okay, that's the tank control basis. Reward 105,000. Next reward, award for the first battle. Play your first multiplayer battle and win a premium vehicle for free. That's right guys, hit Wolf on that. In your first battle, you will win Premium Vehicle for free. Premium Vehicle for free. For free, Baba. Let's check it out. Game, just left mouse button. Well, why the hell not? Let's go to our first battle. Joining game session. Random battles. 
random ground battles. See your mission objectives. Tickets of your team and the enemy team. Number of capture zones and their status. White neutral zone. Blue captured to your team and red captured by the enemy team. So you're doing capture zones, which we did in the basis of the tutorials. That's exactly one of the matches that I'm going into as we speak. Team Wild Puma 75 says, we got this. Well, my team says we, we, we got this as well. We, we, we got this. To battle. Or is he part of my team? He might be. Andrew. I'm killing the trees over here, guys. <laughs> There's so many trees. So many places to be uh, to hide behind. So many hiding spots. This is really, this is really tank tank area. This is really tank map -ridge. Look at this. Look at that. This is quality tank. Man. This is not the best. <laughs> Just like we spoke about, hill climbing with the tanks. Not the best. Oh, the battle's getting tough right now. Target destroyed. That's not bad. First one, man. First one, what then? We got a tank destroyed, baby. That's one tank out of our asses. Come on, teams. Where you got? Oh my god. I think I'm gonna go over some weird ass. How am I surviving? How the fuck should I survive? Okay, can this tank go to all? Okay, okay. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is so not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is so not good. Come on. Oh, this is not good. It's getting to me. <laughs> Am I just being a natural? This that's a second tank destroyed. <laughs> Do this, ladies and gentlemen. I think. Oh shit, Rex, I think I'm stuck in water. Okay, we don't go back now. Back, back, back. Come on, team. We're halfway there already. And I just killed the tree. Damn it, Roma. Stop killing the environment. You just killed another tree. Yeah, we better get a knife in here. Okay, he's too far away. I'm gonna have to. Oh, this is not good. Yeah, 
shot at. I think I was getting shot at. There's, a, there's one of my teammates. Oh, you guys are doing so good. If I charge! Capturing these points like that. Fourth in the team for a first battle. Damn, bro, that's free legend action. Air targets destroyed. It's you. It's you. And we got our tank. There's the A30 MK1. That's the premium tank that they were speaking about. Achievements of tank 3. Okay, these are your crews. So there it is, just like we saw on Wiki War Thunder. We've read about this. We know how much it actually weighs. 13.8 ton. Yeah, look at that. 13.8 ton, 4 crew member. It's got max repair cost is free, which is nice. Max repair cost is free, and then this one over here. Yeah. The new crew should undergo training to be able to operate this vehicle. Cost to hire and train a new crew for this type of vehicles. 5150, are you sure? Do we have enough? Well. I've got 21,000. So, okay, so you start with a certain amount, if I'm mistaken. It looks like mine. Let's see. Reward for winning. So that's 357. What do you call this? War Thunder Point? Is it? A War Thunder Point. Battle time was 2 minutes 48 seconds. Activity 81%. Hits 10. Critical hits 3. Enemy kill assist 1. Even an assist, even an assist. Ground targets destroyed on two. Sweet, let's go to the hangar. Invite your friends to join War Thunder. Send the link below to your friends or share it on Facebook. Whoa. Share it on Facebook and you can get 70,000 for each friend you unlocked. The two rank. 500 for each friend you unlock the 3 rank, 2500 for each friend you unlock the V rank. Each player who registers using your link will receive 50 as a gift. Sweet, that's pretty cool. So there's some events and tournaments on the right over here. And then we've got another tutorial as a fighter. I'm guessing these are tutorials on... Uh, not just ground battle, but the air battles and uh, battling on sea as well, on the waters. But there you are guys, there you go for the first tutorial and a uh, lack of battle online, nice multiplayer battle. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, for those who just start out with War Thunder, there's uh, a few more things. First game on War Thunder, I think it's great. I think the tanks are great. I don't think, just think actually the tanks are great, but the online battles are brilliant. The online battles are brilliant. It's actually really fun. You should try it out. I think you guys are going to enjoy it.